Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to cover a topic that's been brought up numerous times by past clients, potential clients, and really what it has to do with is how to add a ground to your VFD or split the ground that's on the VFD properly. Uh, best practice with this is done very simple. You can see we got an HY VFD here, nothing new. Many of you are familiar with this VFD. It looks totally stock on the front. However, when we go inside the unit, you can see she's been modified. And when I say modified, you can see that ground bus bar bolted in. And we actually have a terminal split right here. We have a lead coming in, once again, all solder connections. Use a nice piece of silicone wire coming over, and that splits our ground. And you can see now you've got this entire bar. I removed two of the screws so we have nothing impeding our actual cable pass-throughs. That being said, if you look at the bottom of the unit, you have the giant cable pass-through here, and also the additional cable pass-through to access your terminal blocks. This is the proper way to split your grounds on this unit, okay? If you ever encounter a VFD, and again, it's regardless of make, there's tons of different makes out there, this process will work across the board. Once again, I will be releasing this kit, it's very cheap, and again, it will save you a lot of headaches, especially as you test for continuity. <clears throat> and of course, I've got my Fluke 179 right here. Many of you guys have asked about continuity. Again, there's lots of videos on this. Switch over to your continuity symbol on your unit. Once you connect your leads together, can hear we've got continuity. We're going to come in here. I'm going to actually probe the actual ground on the unit and then just touch a lead and you can see we're golden. Once you connect your ground there, you know it will be split properly and you're all set. So again, I hope this video has been helpful. Once again, I'll put a link for this uh, unit in the actual description of the video because again, I've had many, many questions on this. And again, if you use the proper size terminal bus, it will fit within the unit very nice and neat. And of course, you'll just come over and wrap around. Now, I, of course, use circle ring connectors that are soldered, so nothing will come undone. Regardless of how loose these terminals are, unless the screw completely comes out, you're always in the safe zone. Again, always keep in mind, these units put out three phase, so a serious voltage and real potential for uh, health risk and, of course, fire. So we need to take that very seriously. Um, again, to all my subscribers, I thank you guys. Uh, if you guys request uh, anything dealing with quotes, questions, whatever you may have, please send them directly to my email at storm2313 at gmail.com, or you can contact me through my e-dealer direct store. Uh, my, that's my eBay store. I will put that in the link in the description below as well. Of course, you'll see it on the screen. Um, I hope this has answered many of your questions. Um, again, uh, this is a question that comes up con uh, consistently due to the fact that there's so many different brands and so many guys go through the fact that even when they're connecting leads to their terminal block, the more shielded cable you use, you have more grounds that you have to go with. Once again, uh, this unit will give you eight additional ground points, which I have yet to see even come close to being used up. So you'll be set for whatever application you use. And again, it is a universal kit for any type of uh, any brand VFD. Thank you all for your support.